Don's cruising some Miller Lite Platinum. Yes. I have a pen. And then uh, while you're doing that, you mind if I come in and get started? Go ahead. We'll get you guys a new door at some point. We've done it. We've perfected it, right? We are essentially freaking SEAL Team 6 when it comes to going into like Section 8 housing that has just been destroyed. Walk into a house. Oh, we got needles over here. We got poop on the wall over here. We got holes over here. We got this. We got that, right? For us, that's just a normal Tuesday, right? Yeah, that's just a. F I would just skip the first step. Okay. Hello? Anyone downstairs? I assure you. Section 8 investment is not for the weak. Section 8 investment is a tough, brutal, and savage business. And you better be prepared if that's how you want to make a living. This one might take a bit. Got to get a picture of the address. Is like barely visible. Someone's cruising some Miller Lite Platinum. Yes. These are always tricky. I don't know if these absolutely count, but um, I'll document it anyway. I think all that stuff's relatively okay for the most part. Yikes, man. Our handles that we use, so it definitely came in from the, came from within. Yeah. That is newer than 78, so you don't have to worry about yeah. it. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Um, yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date, or you could decline the sign. I can just check that box. Either way, you still get this. It's just information about like what we're doing. I'll give this to the people that should be signing this because this. Okay. Not uh, oh, they are they not home? Yeah, they're here. Oh, they are. Okay. Do you think they'll want to sign, or should I just put decline? Yeah, I'll go sign. Just have them sign it real quick. Okay. Okay. I have a pen. And then uh, while you're doing that, you mind if I come in and get started? Go ahead. We'll get you guys a new door at some point. When you're in, like, the trenches of dealing with affordable housing and dealing with Section 8, dude, it is, it's mind-boggling, right? Like, I got this one kid, he works for me, right? He's a college kid, super well-educated, okay? This kid, he's a smart kid, and uh, he, he comes from, like, a good pedigree, and he's never been to, like you know, extremely dangerous neighborhoods. Whereas myself, I actually kind of grew up in some pretty rough neighborhoods, so I kind of understood all this. But when this kid's seen some of the condition that some of these people are living, he was like shocked, dude. Like to this guy, college educated guy, his mind was blown. And I think a lot of people that watch Holden Wise TV, I think their mind is blown as well. So they don't have to fix it. Okay. Uh, window that? Because it's a... It's, yeah, I wrote it down. That's so, so, Someone else will probably do that instead of uh, okay. Lou. Okay. Cool, thanks. And they can actually keep this portion. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Right, to see how people sometimes live, like there's this whole like section of the United States population that is just living in complete squalor, that is just like destroying their own habitat. It's insane, it makes no sense, there's no rhyme or reason to it, especially when it's Section 8 tenants. Like, dude, you're getting housing for free. Someone is giving you housing for free. You do not even have to be responsible enough to pay for the roof over your own head, right? Like the basic thing that an adult in the United States of America should do is be able to provide a roof over the head of their own family. And these are people uh, that for whatever reason, they choose not to even do that. Uh, it only takes about like 15 minutes to walk through a unit. Yeah. 
And then on top of that, they take the roof that was provided to them at little to no cost, right? Every Everybody on a Section 8 voucher is a little different. Sometimes you get paid a little bit more. Sometimes it'll cover all your rent. Sometimes it covers a portion, right? Uh, but these people are being given something for free, and they still destroy it. Uh, it just depends on the sheet. I don't know this. Whatever room this is. Please leave that sunstone behind. You do know what this is. Yes. Alright. Yes. We need it to get where we're going. I got one thing for you. This is a pamphlet with information. And and sometimes uh, that just pushes landlords out of the business, right? Everybody vilifies the landlord as the big, evil, rich uh, corporation. But in the United States of America, the majority of landlords are normal mom and pops, just like you, right? So what happens is these normal mom and pops, uh, they take over these properties. They think, oh, Section 8, this is great. Government pays it. It'll be fine. Everything's hunky-dory. And then, bam, they get hit with reality, okay? They get hit with uh, what is actually happening out there. And then what they do is oftentimes it scares them and they wanna exit the business, right? So they contact Holton Wise and we sell their properties for them or we buy their properties or we will come in and rescue them and we will take over their property. Oh, yeah. Hello. See, I do it. That'll work. What is it? This is a pamphlet with information and resources you can use. And then we have to send in our team and basically every single time uh, we get new properties in our portfolio, right? It's it's usually like a whole clusterfuck and it's just a mess and, you know, our team, we go in and, and we pick up the pieces for these people, right? Because uh, it's not all bad, right? The business, you can make a ton of money, but you need systems in place. You need the experience. You need the boots on the ground team. You need people to understand uh, how this goes, right? So like my guys can just walk into a trash property and you know, we got like a checklist of things to do. We've done this freaking thousands of times. Okay, that works. That's fine. We appreciate you letting us in. And then you get to keep this. You were trying to leave We know exactly what's going on, right? You walk into a house. Oh, we got needles over here. We got poop on the wall over here. We got holes over here. We got this. We got that, right? For us, that's just a normal Tuesday, right? But for some people uh, who get into the business, like they, they've put everything they own into one rental property and then you run into one of these disaster tenants and they're just baffled, they're destroyed, they're defeated, right? So that's why you see uh, so much brutality on Holton Wise TV. It's not like we're freaking idiots and we don't comprehend uh, how to ten like screen tenants and things of that nature. No, like not every property is going to end up in the situation uh, that you see on the Tenants from Hell show, but like when we take over new properties, you know, oftentimes that's when landlords reach out to us, you know, oftentimes landlords don't reach out to people to buy their houses when everything is amazing, right? Like oftentimes landlords are not like, yo, I got this one rental property. It's amazing. I tell the tenant he's got to pay a thousand and every week he pays or every month he pays me a week early and he gives me a hundred dollar tip. It's the greatest thing ever. Let me sell it. Right. It's not usually how it goes. Right. They typically reach out uh, to property managers like Holton Wise to take the problem off of their hands to correct uh, the issues that they're facing. Right. And if you take the time to build your business from the ground up and, and, and really understand the systems and the processes and, and know the actual level of work and human capital you're going to need to put into your business, you could turn Section 8 rental property portfolios into a gold mine, right? I'll go down first and let you know how it is. Are you worried about me going through it? No. That first one? You can skip the first one. <laughs> Yeah, for the first step. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't break out your plugs for the backup. I know, I didn't think about it. I was already... I was in too deep. Oh, those look fine. Yeah, it's just a... F I would just skip the first step. Okay. Hello? Anyone downstairs? Spider webs. A lot of spider webs. I know, right? So I 
that's not good. Totally experienced. You want to peek in there real quick? Let me know if you see anything. Don't, don't, you don't have to go all the way in. I know there's a lot of spider webs in that doorway. Oh, yeah, they're way up above. Yeah. I'm just looking to like if you see anybody or anything before no, we get Rose, started. Rose is good here, yeah. 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 All right. Okay, well, I'm gonna just start taking pics then. Ah, it's going right up to the face, wow. man. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, particularly with basement stairs, even though we'll be doing, um, oh, that's the commercial unit. Yeah, there's a bunch of holes in the floor, too. So even though they'll be covering the stairs themselves, mm -hmm. they'll have to paint the railing and the stringers. Yeah. Basement stairs, oh, these do have risers, okay. We've done it, we've perfected it, right? We are essentially freaking SEAL Team 6 when it comes to going into like Section 8 housing that has just been destroyed and, and the owner is just completely like defeated, right? We can go in and we can rescue them. It's like that freaking, uh, that show, right? It was a bar rescue, right? That John Taffer dude, right? He goes into jacked up uh, bars and he's like, no, I've done this time and time and time again. I know the process. I know what I'm doing. And it's a formula. And you follow step one, two, three, four, five, and then you get to success, right? That's what we're able to do uh, for those Section 8 landlords out there uh, who've, you know, been struggling, right? Because for everybody I see coming out here, getting into the game and making millions, changing their lives, becoming millionaires, and nobody in the United States of America, there are no more self-made millionaires in any industry other than the real estate industry. But you guys have to understand, there's a lot of people out there that are gonna get paid to convince you that it's all freaking rainbows and unicorns and everybody gets rich. Everybody doesn't get rich. Some people lose money. I see people losing money all the time. Oftentimes when we take over a property, it's from somebody who's clearly losing, right? So for everybody that's out there making a fortune, there's just as many people losing out on that money because they're not prepared for what they're gonna get into. And then I guess we're gonna check the storefront. Uh, yeah. We're going to the front door, not that it matters. <laughs> yeah, it really does it. Oh, what do you think was here? Or did they just not throw that nail through? I don't know. took over this property. I came here for the lock change. I was like, God, I'm not doing this good. Like, you can come here and write it out. I don't know what the fuck. I assure you, Section 8 investment is not for the weak. Section 8 investment is a tough, brutal, and savage business. And you better be prepared if that's how you want to make a living. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.